quality handmade soaps where handmade is the best made proudly making soap for over five years quality handmade soap sets the standard in both quality and safe ingredients perfect for the holiday season I'm telling you right now, you see that black rose soap? I got that in my shower. And man, let me tell you what, your husband or wife will love it. Use promo code VHHN2022 to get 15% off your first purchase. Link is in the description box. Let's go. backstory of your life and your career um so you grew up in detroit mm. um and i seen that you were attending church at a young age and um mm. you got into stand up can you take us back to a little bit of your childhood and get you know getting to the church and i'm um, practicing yeah, stand up I, I, I grew up in religion and that's how i was able to see that religion is false and if you look at the book it always talks about building a nation and somehow we're praying to god but everybody's taking over the nation and taking over us and building infrastructures in the name of their God while we're sitting praying and watching nothing, no infrastructures being made in the name of our God and of our, our, our power, I should say. I say power, that's a more better way to say it. Um, and growing up in church taught me how to look at what was wrong with religion. And it taught me how to uh, see the beautiful thing about families coming together. That's really what it's about. I mean, all the other stuff is all, you know, just a show. But most of it is about families coming together. So as a child, I, I asked God to uh, make me famous that I can help build his, his kingdom on the earth. And um, that's a vain prayer, I would say, now that I'm more mature. But as a child, I wanted to be an actor. And, and he kept his end of the bargain. And now, you know, I keep my end of the bargain. Some people say you can sell your soul to the devil, which you can do. But you also can make an agreement with the Almighty, which you also can do. It's called a covenant. So what I did, I attached with my bloodline, took up the covenant of my ancestors, and and now I'm moving in that 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 infrastructure. What 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 point of it was in in your life that you decided to kind of take this step and and walk in this new direction? I, it was never new. I, I was well, you guys were just finding this out. I knew when I was on those sets what I was doing. Okay. You guys didn't know. I'm just revealing it to you guys because the testimony to bear witness of what's going to happen, what's happening, it has to be a record of all this. So it has to go from Brandy Jackson going to be a Hollywood star to leaving into the next chapter, next chapter, next chapter, next chapter, next chapter. You know, you got it's records that's put in the cloud in the database that, that bears records of witness. That's why you guys called me for an interview. Because you guys have almost 300 and, or, or how many, like almost what, 50 million, five, 5 million witnesses on here? That's bearing witness of my testimony of what I'm telling you guys. Mm. All I need is two. I got 5 million just by listening to this conversation. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It's a story. Mm. Everything is written, pre-written from the beginning of time. No one believes it, but the data is always in front of us. You don't got to wear a mask. You got to wear a mask. That forced vaccine, okay, got a vaccine. You have this, got that. It's just, it's just all of this stuff is just a, a, a whirlwind of data that is con that's 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 constantly being pushed on on the world while we sit back and and, and look and look like slaves. But then God sends people like me to warn the people, and they never listen. That's when it did happen. They don't listen, and then what ends up happening? They end up being coming in slaves by consent. It happens over and over. It's been going on. The data is in the records. Hold on one second. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. Brandon T. Jackson on the Hip Hop and Sense of Podcast. Yes, like sir. Yes, sir. So this, is a, this is a record of, of a nationality of a people. Okay. Right? This is the data. This is written data. This was printed and canonized and put out in all of this realm, right? So mm -hmm. then when people go into, quote, unquote, their religious, whatever, BS that they go into, no offense to anybody, they're reading records of a civilization. That record of a civilization is now here and it's questionable, right? So mm -hmm. now, flash forward to 2021, 2020, the grid is all up. 
So there's no question unless the grid is white that we existed now and we are here today. Because it's all about witnesses of what we're saying right now. There's 5 million people that's going to hear this or 340 subscri thousand subscribers that's going to hear what I'm saying and may not understand what I'm saying, but it's going to bear witness for people in the future if it don't make sense now. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we digested it, brother. Absolutely. These are records. So that's that's mm -hmm. what I'm, that's why that's why I don't just subscribe to faith. I don't describe because you have to just know you can't have faith. You don't have faith that you're breathing. You just know you're breathing. How do you look at your career in Hollywood now being who you are now? I mean, I, don't, I mean, it was always the same. You know, it was always a plan to do what I need to do. You know, I don't really have a career in Hollywood. Um, I can sell to them if, if, if I want to. Got a couple movies I'm selling to Netflix, but Hollywood's a tech company now. It's all a tech company. It's not really individual producers. They sell to big marketing agencies like Netflix and Amazon. It's not really Hollywood anymore. Hollywood was done when technology came in. So now they're branded as Hollywood, but really Hollywood is not no more. Amazon is here now and Netflix. And Hollywood is bowing to Netflix and Amazon because of technology. So it's more so a, um, a tech company, you know, which is not really hard to build you know so from my perspective as i go um why have a hollywood career when i can have a career in the kingdom i heard you saying in an interview you were saying um that you could have been the next eddie murphy martin lawrence no that's so what they were how, that's what I, yeah, how, yeah how, how does it how does it how does a kid that you know um that's you know start off in hollywood could have been a top just leave and go to the kingdom explain that transition what entice you to do so well, I forgot my covenant. <laughs> okay. That I made my promise I made to God when I was a child, but I did ask for God to be um, a huge actor. I, but I guess my, my 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 power is very jealous of um, everyone has power sources. So no matter what, there's a power energy force in the force that's that's pushing every every infrastructure. So I don't want to talk religion with you guys because when I talk religion. Your comments gonna be like, oh, he's religious, religious, religious. Because they, yeah. it's, it's been the the truth has been infrastructure inside of a religion. So anything I talk about a power source what ends up happening, it gets mistaken as religion. So I'm gonna talk to you kind of in a technical sense. That's is that, that's okay, right? Yeah. Sir. So in a technical sense, um, Hollywood's an infrastructure, and, and Netflix and and and, and uh, Amazon are infrastructures that are built to house energy, right? If I want to house my energy in that infrastructure, I'll just create my own energy portal, which is like a movie that I produce, you know, something like that, you know, Trap City or whatever, whatever. And then I'll sell that energy portal back to a technology company that has an infrastructure to house my energy in the film. So there's no real industry unless you just can execute product. So no one can dictate whether I can execute product or not unless they, you know, you know, try to capture this flesh and blood avatar and put me in a cell. But even with that, the records that I bear witness with today and things I'm doing today will go on forever. So, you know, um, Hollywood, I was never I never I was never controlled by them. But as it pertains to that, was, they were never my power source. But being working with Eddie Murphy um at the time was something that i realized i'm not eddie Mur i had to realize i'm not my power source would not would not allow me to go and be branded as eddie murphy's son mm -hmm. so the energy that was pushing me and glitching the matrix for me um which i can have it's plenty of testimonies of it of me not even getting tropic thunder and I got it, then uh, uh, another actor didn't show up and they fired that actor and got, you know, I got the part. Um, mm -hmm. Things were always moved around for me, glitching, glitching the realms for, for me to, to move for my path. So I trust that power source. I give you an example again. I did, did three minutes at the Laugh Factory and in two weeks I was in, um, and uh in, in role bounce or i mean my second audition was role bounce but in, in a week later i had an agent the biggest agency in the world caa 
So at the time, you know, um, that was all glitches. You know, there's no way that could happen that one of the agents are there to come see another comedian. I pop in from Detroit, do three minutes of comedy, and two months later, I'm in like, I'm in Roll Bounce. And that's like my second audition coming from Detroit. That's like lightning in a bottle. That doesn't happen. Right. How do how does Hollywood and people in film perceive black actors, in your opinion? How's your perception been from the black? Um, I feel like they're trying to make a, a way to to make sure that we're that black actors are 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 accommodated. You know, I think this is more skewed with um if you if you if you like men. You know, if you, if it's more skewed, if for, for for straight black man, it's pretty hard. They're trying to get better with it, um, but it's it's a lot, it's a lot more. Um, Hollywood is a lot more geared towards men who can't produce life um, by a seed uh, mm-hmm. of a woman, or don't want to. That can't that do not decide to produce life by a seed of a woman. So they they cater more towards that. And that's, they have every right to. That's their juris- jurisdiction. I, I have nothing against that because that jurisdiction was set up for that. But as it pertains to the agenda of the jurisdiction of life, I tend to um, um, try to uh, stick to that code of, of the lion order, of um, the righteous order as it pertains to reproduction of life. Wow. So when it comes down to Hollywood catering towards that, that code, you know, you got to hop, skip, Dave Chappelle does a good job of hop skipping around. You got to be very wise how you move, or you just got to be just a, you know, I'm not really a a yes man like that. So, you know, but overall, they're doing their best efforts in their jurisdiction to be able to accommodate men of uh, of this bloodline that can produce a seed um, and choose to produce seeds. Um, um, they're doing their best in, in the jurisdiction that they have. Would would you in your own in your estimation say blacks are free in Hollywood? Blacks aren't free because they still call themselves black, number one. Number two, uh there's they'll you'll know you will know when we're free. We're not free at all. There's no freedoms for us right now at all. Trust me, you will know when we're free. We're not free right now in any any aspect of this of this life. Now there's an illusion of freedom, mm-hmm. a very great illusion of freedom, for your health and safety. You know that mm-hmm. great illusion of freedom that that um has been going on for uh 400 and something years. I mean, I actually not even 400 years. They started in like in the 60s. Actually, no, actually the illusion of freedom started with with the actually uh the founding fathers of the blah blah this thus nation and then you know what i mean it's like well you know um the wig dudes the dudes with the wigs Mm -hmm. um freedom is a choice first you have to be free in your mind and understand things and then from that you start your body starts to follow but yeah we're not free anywhere so that's that's a trick question for me (laughs) 